Hello and welcome. This video is part of a series developed to help you quickly enable valuable features and functions across your SAP Ariba solution. In this video, I'll show you how you can create supplier organization in SAP Ariba Supplier Information Management module and invite a supplier user to register on SAP Ariba network for suppliers. SAP Ariba Supplier Information Management module allows supplier managers at bio organizations to manage supplier organizations together with the linked supplier users. Supplier users refer to supplier contacts, participate in sourcing events, questionnaires and surveys initiated by the buyers. Therefore, maintaining proper supplier user accounts is essential for the supplier information management and sourcing applications. Registration process should be easy, but sometimes suppliers face issues such as accidentally register redundant organizations or user accounts. Sometimes the users are confused with the similarity of their user accounts and email addresses, which can lead to blocking of their new accounts and password reset requests. Typically suppliers ask their buyers who invited them to register for help and support. Supplier managers might find it useful to be familiar with the whole registration procedure to better understand supplier's situation in case of issues. I'm going to show you the registration procedure from two points of view, from the supplier manager side and from the supplier user side. I will act as supplier manager to create supplier organization create new supplier contact and invite him or her to register. Then I will complete the registration as the supplier user, including completion of the company details and setting up the user credentials. And finally, switching back to supplier manager, I will check what data get updated when the registration is completed. Let's get to the system and act as a supplier manager. I'm going to create a supplier organization, so I specify the name and the minimum fields of the city, postal code, country and main phone. So when my supplier organization is created, second step is to create a user. Creating a supplier user requires filling a couple of fields like user ID, name, email address, phone number and in my case I also specify the time zone. Additional option is to click the to send the invitation when the supplier user is created. This is what I have done. But in any case if you forget about it then you can always come back through manage users, finding that user and selecting generate passwords option and confirming to send the invitations to suppliers. Now switching to supplier point of view, I'm getting to my own mailbox and check the invitation that I have received from Ariba. The invitation contains the link for the registration form. So I follow it and I have two options sign up or login if I have an existing account. I don't have any account so I select to sign up and actually register my company together with my username. I can see that the company name and the postal code and city are already pre-filled so I just put in only the street and uh, when selecting my username I decided to use a different content than my email address so specifying my password and two additional fields which specify the category of my supplier and uh, ship to or service location so after confirming privacy uh, statement and terms of use and submitting the registration form my company and user account on Ariba network have been created so last thing I do is actually checking that my company Ariba Network ID has been assigned and I see the simple screen for sourcing dashboard where I will see in the future the list of sourcing events and the questionnaires which would be submitted to me by my buyer. 
Switching back to the supplier manager point of view, I just uh, evaluate what has changed in the supplier user. So I see that obsolete for login and the public status indicates that the supplier has uh, completed the registration. And the uh, second thing that I'm going to check is existence of the Ariba network ID, which has been updated to my supplier organization after the registration is completed. Understanding the supplier registration procedure by supplier managers can help to better support supplier users in cases when they face issues on SAP Ariba network. Keeping the registration procedure simple also helps to avoid unnecessary duplicate registrations or inconsistencies in the registration data. If you have any further questions, please contact your SAP Ariba customer engagement executive or visit SAP Ariba help for more information.